Okay, in this video, I'm just going to run through a recent issue I've had with my Zoom H1 where the card wasn't being recognized by the recorder. Um, so essentially what had happened was I'd, I'd left my Zoom H1 in um, just in a bag for a while and I don't usually do this. Usually I take the batteries out of things, but um, this is quite an old, old style recorder, so it uses an AA battery. I usually always set the batteries out of things, but I, I'd sort of left it for a while. I'd been using a Zoom H4n as a replacement for a bit. And um, when I took it back out of the bag, the battery had just sort of leaked inside of this compartment. So um, I cleaned it up, left the battery out for a bit. And luckily when I switched it back on, it, it was working. Um, but the problem I had when I would switch it on, um, I've intentionally left the SD card out slightly on this, but what would happen i'd switch it on and i would get this message no card and then you can see it's got 35 seconds on there that's just the internal recording amount so it's just essentially wasn't recognizing the card and i i don't know for certain but i i think what had happened was when i switched the recorder back on um i had to reset the time and essentially just restart the recorder so it was as if i was setting it up from fresh and I think because the card had previously been formatted, it probably had different date stamps on it. So when it went back into the recorder, it didn't actually understand that it had been formatted by the recorder. And the issue that I had um, was that I couldn't format it in the recorder either. So um, essentially, if you, if you put the card in, what should happen is obviously that it reads the card, tells you how long you've got left on the card to record. And you can, if you switch the recorder off, you can actually format the card by holding down the bin button and then sliding the button down, switch it on. So switches on, keep the bin held down. And then it says sort of format, press record. But the trouble was because it couldn't recognize the card, I would try to format it and then it would just come up with an error. So that didn't actually work. It's just, um, <laughs> I was kind of a little bit stuck because I, I had a card that, um, I, I wanted to use and I, I just had no way of using it in there so um, I basically uh, you can see you know I've just cancelled that format process and it is actually reading now um, so essentially what I had to do was to take the card remove that and then I put it into uh, into my Mac backed up the um, backed up the card it had like a few old audio recordings from jobs that I'd done so just in case I needed them um, and I just backed all that up to a file and I had to format the card in the uh, in the Mac and I did it as XFAT, uh, an XFAT um, a format essentially. And then when I took the card and put it back into the camera, uh, it, sorry, into the camera, into the audio recorder, it actually then gave me the, um, the option to format the card. So when I accepted that, it then worked and then um, ev everything sort of um, kicked back in and it, it started working again. So I, I, it, it's almost like I think that it, it felt like the card wasn't formatted to the uh, to the mic because it maybe didn't match up with the uh, new settings that had been put in when the mic had been reset. And like I say, it's quite a niche thing to happen. Um, you know, I've been using this mic for over 10 years, I think now, and it's never happened before. <laughs> so. Um, I think it's a bit of an edge case, but um, you know, if, if there's anybody um, and it's happened to you, um, you know, you you, uh, you might actually find a bit of use out of this. So um, yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. Um, yeah, if it has, give the video a like. Um, and if you want to see more um, kind of video and audio type tutorials, then uh, please subscribe to the channel.